I'm David Knight. I just got back with Josh Owens from the standoff in Bunkerville, Nevada, with the Bundy Ranch and the BLM, who basically turned the area into martial law after a 20-year dispute over what could legally be done there, over a 20-year dispute about trying to shut the ranchers completely out of the area that they had enjoyed for generations, asserting that it was for the behalf of the desert tortoise. That was an obvious pretense. At the same time, they're mounting a multi-million dollar operation, a militarized operation against this family. They're allowing turtles, they're actually not allowing, they are euthanizing turtles under their care, more than 1,400 turtles under their care. And of course, they were able to drive out 52 of the 53 ranchers in that area with their regulations coming in and saying, you are now only going to be allowed to have 10% of the stock that you used to have before, and you're not going to be able to put your stock on the land in the prime part of the season. That's the incrementalism. That's the way through regulation and these unelected bureaucracies, they can regulate any business out of business. That's what they're doing with Obamacare. It's essentially the same thing. Coming in and declaring that they have the right to to assume new powers that are not in the Constitution. The Ninth and Tenth Amendment say, if it's not explicitly in there, you don't have that right. They don't have the right to force people to buy Obamacare, to buy insurance, to spend much more than they ever would to, on an insurance policy, forcing single men to buy maternity policies so that they can transfer excessive amounts of money to the insurance companies that gave them money to run for office. So what we're seeing here is crony capitalism. When we reported this, this was really the thing, I believe, that, that drive this dramatic turnaround that we saw between Friday afternoon, late Friday afternoon, and early Friday morning. By Friday morning, the sheriff was there with a BLM press release in hand saying, we're going to allow you, we're going to open up the land again for your cattle. Of course, they had his cattle, a lot of his cattle they had already seized, and they, they were subsequently taken back. But listen to this article that came out today from the Washington Times. They said, it was likely that pressure from upstairs, that would be Harry Reid, rather than weapons from the field that changed his mind on the matter. Who is he that changed his mind? That would be the director of the BLM, the guy who used to be Harry Reid's senior policy advisor, Neil Corns. He is now the head of the BLM. That's right. The guy who used to work for Harry Reid is head of the BLM, and they were specifically targeting the Bundy Ranch, and Kit Daniels found that documentation specifically targeting them as mitigation area, like a carbon tax credit, so that they could go ahead with their solar projects. And they are going ahead with First Solar. The Chinese project was presumably shelved back in June, but Harry Reid has resuscitated that project before in the past. It's not to say that it is completely dead. I've got on the phone right now Dr. Jerome Corsi. And at WND, he wrote an article about where the Chinese are going with this. They're not just in that one area with Harry Reid. This is massive. This is across the country. Dr. Corsi, thank you for joining us. A great pleasure. Thank you. Now, in April, in your article, you say that Bloomberg reported that a Chinese billionaire, who was the founder of ENN, the uh, energy group that wanted to put this uh, solar project there, had teamed up with Harry Reid to get incentives, including land that was 113 miles south of Las Vegas, and they sought to buy $4.5 million, less than one-eighth of the land's $38 million assessed value. So they're getting it for one-eighth of the price. These are sweetheart deals. These are being done all over the country. There is a plan to establish Chinese ownership and even Chinese factories and towns on the ground here in the U.S., isn't there? Well, yes. I mean, I've been writing about this now for uh, several years. I mean, the especially under the Obama administration, it's really picked up. The Chinese, uh, working largely with Harry Reid, have had these plans to uh, put massive solar facilities, actually to buy energy, period, in the United States. I mean, under the George W. Bush administration, you've got to remember that the Chinese were prohibited from buying interests in ports because it was viewed to be not in our national security interest to allow major energy or transportation facilities to be owned by the Chinese. Well, the Obama administration's reversed that. Of course, you know, we've continued to borrow a trillion dollars from the Chinese, and the interest on that alone is mounting daily. And the Obama administration shows no end of interest in running deficits and borrowing from the Chinese. So here runs Harry Reid in 2011 with a group of senators on a Senate-funded trip to China. 
And Harry Reid comes back with this partnership with ENN Energy, ENN Group, which is one of the largest energy companies in China, 100% owned by the Chinese. Yeah, Chinese government, yeah. Chinese government and uh, partnering with the ENN to bring EN to shut down coal plants in Nevada and to bring ENN into running eight or nine thousand acres of solar farms. Because you got to remember, one of the problems with solar energy is it takes huge amounts of land, and having all this land used for um, a solar power funded by the Chinese. You, of course, got to throw ranchers off their land, and you have to exclude any coal-powered plants, which are cheaper yeah. and more effective. Well, of course, they, they had rights, just like property owners have rights, and they've got to somehow get them off of the land before they can turn an area over to a developer to build a skyscraper in a city. It was the same sort of thing that was happening here with these ranchers. And I think the, the showdown ended when it became clear that, I mean, you were reporting at InfoWorld, we're reporting it at WND.com. The Harry Reid connection here is Harry Reid is about as corrupt as they come. Yes. He's, he's put his son and his lawyer for ENN Group. He's pressured EN Energy, which is a utility for providing electricity in Nevada, to take more energy from renewable sources than is economically reasonable to do. And NV Energy refused. That's why the original Chinese plan to buy these 9,000 acres has failed, at least failed this round. Harry Reid will revive it again. Harry Reid never gives up on these plans. That's right. He's That's right. Chinese. Just because the Bundy Ranch won today doesn't mean BLM is going away. I mean, the this guy, uh, Corns, who has been appointed heading at the BLM, was formerly a, um, a top advisor to Harry Reid, has spent the last few years in BLM doing the six-state study in the Southwest of how to convert huge areas of the Southwest to solar farms. And again, they're not worried in moving the you know, endangered species to uh, another habitat, which they call mitigation of the effects. Uh, the environmentalists are happy to do that. If it's to build a solar uh, farm owned by the Chinese, they just won't move this tortoise if it's uh, to the benefit of a rancher who wants to graze cattle. That's right. Uh, They've done that over and over again all around the area of Las Vegas. They've moved tortoises out. They they got money from developers there and said, that's fine. You pay us money. We don't really care about the tortoises. Yeah, the tortoises are just a chip in the game. That's right. Uh, the left and the environmentalists don't care about the tortoises. It's just a way of using the BLM and the EPA to impose this ideological agenda against carbon fuels, which is absolutely an irrational agenda. I mean, it's, you know, again, you see it in the hysteria over um, the UN's Climate Commission coming out again and saying all these disastrous consequences are going to happen because we burn <coughs> carbon-based fuels. Carbon-based fuels are perfectly natural. They're a product of the earth. They can be burned in a clean fashion. They have nothing to do with dinosaurs, more lies. But the, the, the left, the Democratic Party, and the radical core of the Democratic Party, Al Gore through Harry Reid, have found a way to make billions of dollars personally, millions, by scamming the American people into this climate hysteria, thinking the carbon fuels are bad. In the meantime, inviting the Chinese to come in here and build billions of dollars, taking land away from ranchers in order to let the Chinese run solar energy farms, which are not productive, not economically competitive with hydro hydrocarbon-based fuels, but yet in the ideological agenda of the Democrats, they believe they can sell this lie to a dummy-down American public that doesn't know the difference and will be scared by climate hysteria. You know, the world's going to end if we burn coal. Well, no, it's not. But yet in Harry Reid's agenda, that narrative is important for Harry Reid and his Democratic crony corrupted uh, buddies in Congress to become millionaires and billionaires just like Al Gore did. Exactly. You know, it, it's not just about China. Now, as you pointed out, uh, WND has reliable information that the battle, uh, that the Bank of China has continued to advance plans to convert China's holdings of U.S. debt into equity. That's what we see happening with China. But of course, it's not just even with China. This is crony capitalism. This is where giant corporations come in, buy special favors, 
get the government to run out by regulation all of the small businesses. We've seen this pattern happen over and over again in many different industries. But what's happening here is that Harry Reid has put his minion, the guy who used to be a senior policy advisor to him, in as head of the Bureau of Land Management, which they now see, I guess, as the Bureau of Land Ownership. And they are now trading these mineral rights that they find throughout all this property, the water rights, the surface rights. They're trading those all off to their they're giant corporations and, of course, then getting massive campaign contributions from those same corporations. That was what caused them to back down was shining the uh, light on these cockroaches, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and look, I'm sure it was Harry Reid that caused the back down. Harry Reid doesn't yeah. want this That's right. being brought to light. I mean, but look, the Democrats, Obama, the corruption within the Obama administration is, uh, is enormous when it comes to energy. Again, remember, it was the all these cylindras, these, you know, right. Half a billion dollars that were funded by Obama and the stimulus bill all went to bundlers, you know, Obama supporters and funders. Money slipped under the table, campaign contributions to Democrats. And what happened is that all these solar panel Democrat funded firms went bankrupt because the Chinese undercut them in producing solar panels on the world market. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.